Me, I didn't see uh, McDavid or Clefbaum practicing today. Is there any update on their status? Yeah, they're they're fine. They're uh, they had a day today for maintenance and uh, and health. And when I say health, I'm not talking injuries, just a uh, little illness and stuff like that. So they should be good tomorrow. Someone that's been practicing with the team for a while, Andre Sekera. Any chance that he goes on the trip with you guys? Uh, he'll come on the trip. He won't play on the trip. How close is he? Uh, he's still a ways away. He's uh, just getting to the point where he's going to begin to skate with us. No body contact. Uh, we won't see him at all in November, um, and we're hoping somewhere in December he's able to return. Todd, obviously, uh, with the exception of the Vegas game, there's been some nights where goals have hard to come by. I mean, I know you're always considering every possibility, but do you think you might mix up some forwards tomorrow, or how do you approach it? Possibly. There's a chance that we could do that. Talking about the first line, Connor and Leon, is there, are you thinking about splitting them up? Uh, possibly. There's a chance we could do that. <laughs> Like, <laughs> what have you seen from this team on the road that's maybe a little bit different so far from the group at home? Well, you know, for the most part, when, when we look at the segments of the season, um, I thought early, prior to this last extended road trip, we, uh, we didn't check at home. We didn't have uh, uh, a commitment level to, uh, to preventing goals at the at the uh, elite or top level that we need to to uh, to try and win games and it, games got away on us and we tried to outscore our mistakes. Um, I thought coming home or in the road on the road, uh, pardon me, we had a uh, uh, a real good commitment from the the team as a whole, right on through from the top players on down to uh, to checking uh, to making sure that we're playing well defensively. When you're not scoring a lot of goals, you got to figure out ways to win, and it's not six five. And we did that on the road trip. I thought coming home uh, against uh, Vegas, we continued to do that. And as a result, it opened up a, a number of offensive opportunities for us. Last night, I, I just didn't think we were good as a team, period. And um, uh, the Vegas game kind of led us into a uh, heavy, hard, checking, uh, not a lot of space game against St. Louis. And that wasn't good for us. We wanted to continue to play that open east-west game at the, at the blue line and it ended up costing us. You'll have to figure out the home thing eventually, but in the here and now, is it, is it almost good for you guys to, to get back on the road where you have been playing? Your I don't think it's ever good to, uh, to leave your home. Um, this is where we belong. We, we uh, enjoy playing in front of our fans. Uh, the support that they've had for us is tremendous, and, and there's no reason why uh, you should want to leave to get your game in order. Um, you know, we, we play to, to please our fans here. And we shouldn't be running away from it. We should be able to perform at a very high level in our building. We haven't been able to get there. Um, you know, that being said, half your games are played on the road, and uh, we're facing five of them now. We've just got to go play well. Todd, just sort of get back to your previous point about some of the East-West game. I mean, in your experience, when players maybe start doing that a little bit too much, is that frustration? Is that not reading what the opponent is doing? You know, how does that sort of set in? Well, I, I think at times it's uh, just being stubborn too. Um, you have to take what's there. You, you, we have very talented players on our team that can uh, create time and space for each other and, and make plays at the blue line. Uh, but that doesn't happen 100% of the time. There's other times where the, the other team, and last night was a prime example, they get in the way. They check well, they, uh, they close lanes off, they close quickly, um, and you got to take what's, what's given then and try and create off of it. Uh, we were stubborn, we wanted to throw pucks into, uh, into those areas, turned it over a number of times, and um, it didn't always lead to uh, outnumbered rushes, but what it led to was time in our zone. Um, they forecheck um, heavily and forced us to play in our zone, and, and that takes away from offensive time. So uh, stubbornness to, uh, to take what is given sometimes appears in our game.